One man, nine wives, 62 kids. For a leader of the largest polygamous group in the country, membership had its privileges. But now two family members of the group led by Warren Jeffs are determined to help others make the same dramatic decision they did. Get out. Here's ABC's Cecilia Vega. We're getting close now, right? Yes, yeah. we are just entering into shortly. This is the hidden world of the FLDS, one of the largest polygamous groups in the United States, and the kingdom of their leader, the now jailed Warren Jeffs. It doesn't take long to get the message. We are not welcome here. Did they do that because of us? Yeah, yeah. That's because we're riding well, I, with two of his biggest enemies, sometime, his sometime. own flesh and blood. My name is Matthew Wall Jeffs. My name is Zachariah Barlow Jeffs. The imprisoned leader's own nephews have now turned against their uncle and everything he stands for. They've returned to help others leave the FLDS, which still has as many as 10,000 members dedicated to the practice of polygamy. Come on, come on, come on, get in, get down. Drama for the new TLC reality, Breaking the Faith. Just make sure you have everything in place. Zach, Matt, and other former FLDS boys pulling off what they say are daring middle-of-the-night rescues of young FLDS women. I need to get out of here before I get caught. It's not your father's big love. I believe in the covenant of plural marriage. But we're not the polygamists you think you know. Or even sister wives. Come on, get in. Producers say this is far more dangerous, a life or death journey into the strange world of polygamy. The majority is located in the Creek, which is adjoined cities, Colorado City, Arizona, and Hilldale, Utah. This is where Warren Jeffs ruled every aspect of daily life. We live in a world that is taken on the ways of the devil. Years after he was sent to prison for life, the convicted pedophile's grip is still tight. My dad does still talk to Warren. He's kind of Warren's messenger. Right. The Jeffs boys agreed to take us back to the place they that, left behind, their first return trip since the debut of the show. You're a little nervous about this. Because they are not just outcasts. Now, they are sworn enemies. You think they know we're outsiders right now? Not quite yet, but I will be able to tell when they do. How do you know? I used to be on the God Squad, and I know how they act. The God Squad, the name given to Warren Jeff's private security force. And names over the, During the our visit, system. they tailed us with big, so imposing pickup trucks. So what's he trying to do right now? Is he trying to, like, Take intimidate us? Intimidate us, yeah. And with cameras watching our every move. See the top of that flagpole? Mm -hmm. That's a camera. That's a camera right yeah. there. And someone's watching that camera right now? Yeah. We're watching them watching us. You look at the screen, it's like millions of cameras. Yeah. Not quite that much, but there's, there's a lot. A lot of cameras. My dad has nine wives and around 62 kids. You say yeah. around 62 kids? Do you know 62, for sure how many 63. kids? 63. You don't know? 62 or 63? You don't yeah. even know how many siblings it's, you guys it's have? It's between that number. This is where you guys lived? Yep. So your dad could be in there right now? He could be. And what would happen if you knocked on that door? They'll immediately go what they call code red lockdown. I haven't talked to my mom since I left. You haven't talked to your mom in almost a year? Yeah, What's that like? Uh, it's pretty hard. Me and her were super close, even right till I left. That would be the only reason why I'd ever even think about wanting to go back, is just to see family. How old are your mom's, how, how old are your dad's wives? Two of dad's were married at 17, 16 and 17. 16 and 17. And dad's three oldest children are older than two of dad's wives. Yeah. Is that weird? That's super I weird. <laughs> But it gets weirder because a lot of people here still believe in Warren Jeffs and everything he stands for. On the show, even some of the young women who leave the community still seem to stand by him. Do you have any idea why Warren's in jail? No. So you, you were not aware that Warren was being prosecuted because he had sexually assaulted two very young girls? I heard it, but I don't believe it. Um, when Carolyn starts telling me about Warren Jeffs and everything, I want to slap her. Because she doesn't know him. I mean, she left 10 years ago. It is a dedication that runs deep. This big white fence that we're coming up to, that was built for Warren Jeffs when he 
was miraculously delivered from prison. <laughs> so, this house is just vacant waiting for him to get out of uh, prison. Yes. Since Warren Jeffs has been in prison, there's been no marriages. Oh, really? Yeah, because he's the only one that can do, do the marriages. They can't have kids right now either. They can't even have uh -uh. kids? He controls that? Yeah. Has anybody actually had a child since he left? Not that I know of. We meet up with Ben, another former member, now part of this team, helping to get more out. I got kicked out about a year ago. I haven't looked back. But I want to help the young women that have a desire to get out. If you're serious about getting out, I can help you. What a lot of people wonder is, there are no fences on this community. Why don't, why doesn't a girl who's 20, 21 years old just get up and go? They know nothing. They don't know where to go. Yeah, where, where are they going? Only thing they know is their bedroom, the kitchen, and the laundry room, and that's it. That is all they know. And it's not because they're restricted. They can go whenever they want. They just don't know how. But before they can tell me more, we're interrupted. Why? Hold on a second, sorry, what? This is the God Squad right here. This is the God Squad? Are we gonna get in trouble? No. They're just taking pictures, okay, with Matthew and Ben Dutson and Zachary Ice, yes, talking the media. That's the typical God Squad out there. Just, let's just let them out. That's what they do. Every one of them. So what was that about? They don't even know. It's trying to put the fear, it's, they're trying to scare you. That's what they do, that's what God Squad does, is they just follow you, they scare you, they try to make you feel uncomfortable. What yeah. do I represent to them? Media. Your short hair, someone like that's gonna just the most wicked of someone. Wicked. I've never really ran off with guys before. If leaving the crick looks hard, they say adjusting to life on the outside is even harder. Look at this chocolate syrup. I'm not supposed to have, have chocolate. chocolate. I know we're not at the crick anymore, but I still don't feel right about all this food. So much is going through my head. A running theme in the show is the girls who don't make it. I don't know what happened, but hopefully she's okay. And end up returning to a fate that Jeff's brothers fear might be worse no than idea. what they left in the first place. But just how much because of this reality show is actually real? The best thing is to get out of St. George immediately. I can't believe this is happening. There's already some criticism on the web that it all seems a bit staged. The show begins with a disclaimer, admitting to some reenactments and dramatizations. But the passion these guys have for what they're doing is clearly not faked. Us boys, we got to get out, we got to work. The girls don't ever get to go out, they don't get to go work. They're, they're restricted at home, so they do not know anything. On their own, it's just, it's almost impossible. They need guys like they, you. They have to. And for the Jeffs brothers, this mission is about something else, repairing their damaged family name. You hear the last name, it's Jeffs, and you're just like, whoa. What reaction does that get? The first thing when someone hears Jeffs, they're gonna think of Warren Jeffs and a pedophile. And I don't wanna be banned at that. It's my chance to change the last name to something better. For Nightline, I'm Cecilia Vega in Hildale, Utah. Cecilia, thanks for that report. Breaking the Faith airs Sunday nights on TLC.